Okay, so let's get into the concept of ditch and switch. What does it mean, especially when we are, you know, talking here with the live green, earn green, and what does it mean to live green? You know, everybody is using that word and natural and holistic and toxic free or, you know, all those types of things. But what does it, you know, mean? How do you start? Because a lot of people get overwhelmed. They're like, Jen, it seems to be useless. You know, <laughs> there's all these things out there. How can I possibly make a difference? Well, you can. And it's very, very interesting in, in how you can start and what a huge impact it makes. Um, I, there was a, uh, I think it was a documentary that I watched a couple years ago called Chem Miracle. You can actually just search it on the internet. You can watch a documentary. And what happened was, is this, this researcher slash documentary guy uh, went into a home and they measured the air and they found that there was an incredibly high level of VOCs, which means volatile organic carbons or compounds. And the, you know, the, um, the scientist in me thought, well, it's probably from their carpet. It's probably from their uh, couches. It's probably from the paint on the walls. It's all off gassing. And so I just proceeded to watch the rest of the this uh, documentary. And what happened was th this gentleman encouraged his family and showed them how to start, you know, switching out, ditching the toxic stuff, you know, the shampoos, the cleaners, the, you know, stuff that they put in their hair, their makeup colognes and fragrances ditch that stuff and switching to stuff that they either purchased or they made themselves and what happened over the course of weeks to me was just astounding um, not only did you know the, the, let me just say the teenagers did protest a little bit because they wanted their spray and their axe you know fragrances and stuff but as the documentary went on i noticed something interesting the woman who was the head of the household her face color started changing she went from like a peaked you know grayish tone looked very dry by the end of the the documentary her cheeks were very uh very rosy and so i was like well that's interesting but when they went back in i don't know how many weeks later that this um this event i don't remember it was a four weeks eight weeks something i don't know how long it was again it's been a while since i watched it again it's called chem miracle um i think it's um uh, uh, let me see what the website is because I had it here. I think it's something. I think it's Chemical Nation. Let's see what it is. Chemical. It is chemicalnation.com. If you want to watch this, chemicalnation.com. So they went in after so many weeks and they tested the air again. And the only thing they changed, they left all their regular furnitures and paints and stuff. They just got rid of the toxins in the home and the levels of these VOCs went from high levels way above safe standards to like way below the threshold. And that just confirmed my my own thoughts. Um, uh, well, I thought it would have been not as low, but it was extremely low that just making this difference of getting rid of stuff and replacing it with stuff that Mother Earth approves of makes a massive difference in your own home because that's truly the only place that we can make a difference so you know why do i give a rip well <laughs> i've been on this bandwagon a really long time uh this is just one of my degrees i have i <laughs> went through today this is so funny i was like what can i show on the webinar today i've got my bachelor's degree here from roosevelt university and this is like paper falling out of it it's from uh roosevelt university that's I don't even want to tell you when I graduated. It was a very long time ago. And I have an environmental science degree. And I have a, an associate's degree in massage therapy. Um, I also have a master's degree in holistic nutrition. And here is a picture of me uh, critiquing the backside of a supplement label <laughs> because I love learning about these things. But I remember back when I was in college, I remember in my, I think it was environmental, um, it was pollution and hazardous waste management and pollution control class. And I had this gentleman who was a retired, um, you know, I think he did a lot of remediation and cleanup. And we were talking about Superfund sites, you know, Superfund is kind of even like defunct right now because there's so much uh, 
so many sites that are so toxic they don't know how to clean them up. But people were having problems with chemicals, you know, from gas stations and fertilizer plants and outboard marine places leaching into the water. I mean, some people's like they could light their water on fire and it would be, you know, it would light fire because there's so much uh, gasoline and stuff in there uh, and fuel in their in their water supply. And I remember asking him because I was so distraught hearing this information. I said, so how can we clean up people? You know, I'm learning about all these ways we can clean up the environment. How can we clean up people? And he sat there and he, he thought for a second and he said, well, we can't. And I said, oh, I like anxiety. <laughs> well, many years later, I was introduced to Young Living Essential Oils. And when I started, I always had been interested in natural um, stuff, but I didn't know how to find out information because you go into the health food store and they're like vultures on you. And there's like 45 different kinds of vitamin C and there's like, you know, um, you know, green drinks. And I mean, like you just, it's so overwhelming. So I never really went there, but I didn't know how to learn. And what happened was I started to learn and that's what brought me down the path of getting my master's and then the massage therapy degree. But I had this environmental science degree and I worked as EPA and OSHA compliance, um, hazardous waste management. You know, I, I'm very fully aware of chemicals and the ability uh, to affect your health. And so he sat back, the, my professor, and he's like, you know, we can't clean up people. And that set me on this path when I joined Young Living and I learned that, yes, we can. We can control what's in our environment because there's five times the amount of pollution in our homes, people that aren't green, to, you know, compare to the outside air, even if you live in a city. So, you know, moms who stay home all the time have a much higher rate of cancer. You know, we see all these kids with <coughs> like skin issues and dogs with hot spots and asthma and sinuses. And, you know, what is going on? You know, who do you know that has really weird stuff going on with their immune system and you just don't know? I remember uh, working when I was getting my massage therapy degree, I was actually also teaching at that school. Um, I was teaching as well as um, doing other things. And one of the Dean of faculties had all these candles burning in her room as her air fresheners, you know, pumpkin spice ones. And she had like two or three of them. I walk in there, I'd be like this. And it was so interesting because she wound up in the emergency room a few times because she couldn't breathe, like her sinuses and stuff um, got really swollen and she was hacking so much phlegm, she was choking. And I said to her, well, have you ever considered that it might be these? Of course, she didn't really like that. Um, but <laughs> I just, I'm like, hello, I, I kind of know about these things. So I want to talk to you today about how can you ditch and switch? So I'm going to give you some education on why, you know, and I, I don't mean to scare the pants off you on this, but I want to um, to just give you some information so you know, you know, like you don't need to go get a degree. You just even if you take a couple notes, that's fine. But I really want to help you understand, you know, why is this happening? And it's not, you know, it's it's not your fault because, you know, what we buy in the stores we think is safe and it's not. And, it, you know, chemical companies are constantly reinventing themselves, you know, Johnson and Johnson and Dow and, you know, all these companies that are making cleaners and, um, you know, shampoos for carpets. And, you know, they're constantly coming out with new things and they patent these chemicals and these combinations. It's about money because you can't really patent a bottle of I got to have one here. Lavender. I'm sure I do. <laughs> you can't patent this. Right. It comes from the earth and uh, it does a lot of really awesome things. And so, you know, we're in a situation where people are wanting change. You know, you might be listening to this because you want change in your life and you're wondering, you know, what can I do to improve my home or, you know, my animals or the health of my uh, babies or, you know, whatever is going on, you know, maybe you work in an office environment and everybody's got the sniffles all the time. And you, you just like, what can we do? Because, the, you know, you see so much even floating around on the internet right now where fragrances are being deemed as indoor, indoor air pollution, which the EPA did acknowledge that. And so what can you do? Well, you can start ditching the nasties and, and switching to the good things as you run out of things, you just, you know, you replace. So I want to talk about, you know, the, the basics, right? You know, we have the synthetic chemicals, that's big business. And, you know, in our home, we can 
uh, affect the air quality by switching to plant-based versus synthetic because your your the fastest way into your bloodstream is actually through your breath. Um, you can have you know every room in your house clean, your bath care, your laundry. You know, there's so many exposures, but people say, well, Jen, this is just well, not this, but, you know, this is just one little thing that I'm, you know, I, I'm using every day, just a little bit of lotion. Well, every day your body is absorbing stuff and our liver is, is our main central uh, filtration uh, organ and our kidneys. And it's just not meant to handle what we're exposed to every day. And our, you know, great grandparents were in a much different environment than we are today. And so we have to help our bodies um, feel better. You know, so that they it could, if there's less load, if I were in our home at least 12 hours a day, that's 12 hours that we have control of the environment. And besides, you know, all this heavy stuff that we're going to talk about, besides the fact that the stuff just smells good <laughs> and you feel good when you use it. You know, I just talked to somebody earlier today and they're like, yeah, my my friend had some of that thieves and it smelled so good that I, I just wanted to get some because you know, they just loved it. They said it was a breath of fresh air. So let's get into a couple of things. Why? First, I want to say I'm not, well, I am a professional, I am a health professional, but I, you know, nothing that I'm going to talk about is meant to be uh, medical advice. Um, even though I've had practice and things like that, I'm actually retired from practice because I, I find a greater role of doing this type of education. So let's get into the toxic 10. Um, the things that we can ditch and switch the fastest, and then I'm going to tell you which ones are the most important. You know, your deodorants, your antiperspirants, your toothpaste, your laundry detergent, your fabric softeners, your over-the-counters, like, you know, Ben Gay or Icy Hot, you know, types of things, candles. Um, air fresheners, mold, plastics, drinking water, and cleaners. I will tell you the two most important things to immediately move out is your toothpaste and your deodorant. Um, they have found underneath the arms, you know, we have a lot of lymphatic nodes, and this is the direct access to your lymph nodes. And to put those chemicals on there may not be the highest good for your lymph nodes. And so switching to something natural that might work even better um, is definitely an option. The, the second thing is the toothpaste. You know, when we use toothpaste that has fluoride in there, sodium lauryl sulfate, which is a chemical that makes it sudsy, dyes, you know, blue dyes in a lot of those toothpaste, that is absorbed right in our buccal cavity and it also goes to the roof of our mouth and right into our brain. So if you read, if you don't believe me, just read the label of a toothpaste thing. And it says call poison control because a tube of toothpaste, actually a quarter of a tube of toothpaste can kill a small child. And what do kids like to do? They love to swallow it. So your toothpaste and your deodorant are two of the most important things to switch. Because as you run out of the one you have or you're just like, ah, I need to do it now. Those are two huge ones. The other one is your, your home cleaner because, you know, we think that if we wipe surfaces and we coat surfaces with chemicals, that it's clean. And it's just actually just got a layer of chemical. <laughs> but when we truly clean with products that are really purifying and protective, we're really getting to the root of anything that's grimy or could cause any issues. So those are the big ones. And there's other things that as you run out, you just start to switch. So I want to tell you this, though, as a little bit of a warning. Uh, you know, being in this environmental uh, science area for a very long time is that there's this thing called greenwashing, which means, you know, there's a lot of misleading things on the internet, um, infomercials, you know, superficial displays that are, you know, like, especially with essential oils, you know, you'll walk through a store now, you'll see a big display, you know, natural fragrances. And it's really not. Um, this greenwashing thing is a big issue. Um, it's just like, you know, calling something organic or natural really doesn't mean anything. So you really need to know your company. It's very, very popular movement right now. I mean, people are buying organic mattresses, organic clothing, you know, and what does it really mean? So it's so important to know your source. And if it's, you know, are those people tracking things from when it goes into the ground all the way into the bottle? You know, is it seed to seal? Is everything rigorously tested? Uh, because, you know, we're thinking, you know, typically, as you know, the products are um, that are natural are more money. And when you're spending good money to get something that you think is pure and clean and good for your family, and it's not, 
that's just false. It's bad. Um, the other thing I do want to say is that, you know, we're going to talk about, you know, some of the Young Living products uh, that you can ditch and switch easily. But the thing is, Young Living products are not going to be the cheapest. Um, they are not your bargain basement, you know, type of thing. And if that's what you want, then this is not for you. I just want to tell you that if you want the best, you want to have stuff that you know is going to work, that you know is going to be safe. You want premium, you know, things in your home uh, to, to take care of you and your family. Then Young Living is right for you. If you are looking for the cheapest and you're cutting out all your coupons to get 50 cent, you know, laundry detergent or whatever, probably not a good fit. I just, I want to let you know that right here before we move forward, that I'm into premium. There's certain things I really invest in. It's the quality of my food, what I put on my skin and what I clean my home with. Those are so important because those are the things that we do every day that over time make the biggest impact in how you feel and your ability to maintain wellness. So let's get into some of these things. Um, you know, first I want to talk, I already talked about the lungs and what you breathe in. You know, when you when you have your, your external skin, your lungs are literally your interaction and your sinuses are your interaction to the outside world. So they're kind of like skin on the inside, <laughs> literally. You've got skin on the outside, your dermal layer, which is protective, which is very absorbent. That's why you put things on your skin and it goes right in. It's also why a lot of doctors prescribe medications that, go right into the skin as patches and stuff because they know it absorbs. And when you breathe something in or, you know, to your sinuses and your lungs, that's also highly absorb, you know, high absorption rate. And so anything that you expose to these skin layers um, are going to absorb like a sponge. And that's why we got to be conscious of what we put on there. So let's talk about some of the most common things that seem to cause people some challenges. Um, one is triclosan, and there's a lot of states that are actually banning this chemical, which is similar to Agent Orange. Um, it's created some uh, resistance to bacteria. You'll find it in hand sanitizers and soaps and things like that. Hopefully, it's moving its way out. I know that the state of Minnesota passed it where they can't use this ingredient anymore because they found it to be very toxic um, to the glands in the body and even the nerves. It's very similar to Agent Orange. Um, another one is parabens. You know, if you if you look at a lot of your labels, you I don't have any labels of anything near me here. Um, you look at the back of lotions and shampoos and conditioner, you'll find parabens. And parabens are endocrine disruptors. You know, they're used as preservatives but they also go after the hormone system, your endocrine system, and they sit in those receptors of the hormones, the hormone receptors, and they cause a lot of havoc. So you do not want parabens on anything that you are using on your body. You know, if you ever wonder why men and boys seem to have breasts, growing breasts, and girls are getting breasts so young, and they say that the average cup size is, I think, one one to two cup sizes bigger than it was in the 1980s for the breasts. Well, it's these chemicals that are mimicking hormones and making things more enhanced, if you know what I'm saying. So it, this, you know, the parabens have already been banned um, in, in, in multiple countries. And so I hope someday our country has the same here in the United States. Um, you also have your phthalates, which are endocrine disruptors. You'll find them in a lot of cleaners and, you know, deodorants and plastics. Um, big time issues. I mean, you can read the slide here. It's one of those things that's really scary. You definitely do not want to have these around. Because remember, one little exposure to a phthalate or triclosan or a paraben is not the problem. It's every day when we're putting it on the skin, layer after layer after layer, breathing it in day after day after day, or eating it day after day after day if it's you know plastic packaging, that's when the accumulation causes big issues. So we also have our fragrances, you know, our smell me goods. Whenever you look at something and it says fragrance on here, you got to be mindful of that. Um, causes a lot of issues in the body. You know, we can, um, you can read here, you know, muscle issues and brain damage, memory, memory loss, speech, hearing, vision issues, um, you know, any, that type of synthetic thing causes issues. And just besides all that, uh, synthetic fragrances, once you start using stuff that, you know, is uh, Mother Earth approved, you know, derived from plants, you'll go back to synthetic fragrances and you won't be able to even like handle it. You'll be like, Bleh. it's like gross. You know, you're like run through the perfume aisles of the of the um, of the department stores. <laughs> I know that's the case. You know, I used to love vanilla candles and pumpkin smell and, you know, stuff like that. 
and recently I, I, I picked up some candles that were supposed to even be like natural type of candles and I smelled it. I'm like, uh, you know, I just can't even go there anymore. Once my self, once I was, um, uh, you know, able to, uh, you know, get that retraining of my sinuses and stuff, it was just absolutely, you know, you just would be amazed when that happens. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Like you'll train your body differently and you'll go back and you'll be like, wait a minute. That doesn't smell like I used to think it smelled. <laughs> so here's another big one, sodium lauryl sulfate or SLS, also sodium lauryl sulfate. It's in anything that makes a suds and, you know, it causes a lot of issues. The suds getting in the eyes, especially with children, it's what makes the eyes burn. Rashes, it's banned in Europe and Canada. Sodium lauryl sulfate, you'll see now, you know, it's really popular to find things that say sulfate free because once again, we think that foaming and cleansing is actually making us cleaner and it's not necessarily doing that. It actually defats the skin and pulls the fat out of the skin, which makes you drier than you were before. So here's nine reasons to avoid sodium lauryl sulfate. Um, you know, you can, you can find these things on the internet now because there is just so much out there that you, you can research and find now. You know, back when I started on this journey in 2001 with Young Living, you know, I graduated college, I think it was 96, <laughs> I don't remember. Um, I was at, a, you know, for that, that, those five years, you know, after I graduated, I was pretty stressed out thinking, oh my gosh, the world is doomed, you know, and how can we make the biggest change? And the biggest change that we can make is by, is through what we purchase. You know, the more that we purchase that is, um, you know, not going to harm our bodies and harm our environment, the more we're making a change in the world. And we can vote with our dollar more importantly than anything, because the dollar is ultimately, unfortunately, sometimes the ultimate way companies make changes. So yeah, that's, I could go on about that. Another one is this a biggie is propylene glycol. It's like antifreeze. It's put into a lot of things to make it slippery and viscous. Um, also, they use propylene glycol to, uh, you know, not make sure the plane, you know, the, the wings of the plane freeze up or your engine doesn't freeze up, but it's very, you know, harmful for the kidneys. Um, it is um, damaging to your skin, your um, uh, premature aging. It just, it causes a lot of oxidative stress. And what that means is it makes you look older than you're, you're supposed to be. So, you know, let's talk about nature's nine. You know, we talked about stuff that's like, you know, what do I do, Jen? Like the world is coming to an end. No, it's not. <laughs> you know, we can work, you know, we can easily switch out. You know, as I said, as you go through and you are deciding, okay, I, I'm out of this now. What do I get? Well, Young Living has something to replace all this, those things that you are trying to eliminate so that you have a home that is safe for you and your entire family. And um, and it smells really good. You know, people walk in my home and they're like, wow, it smells so good here. The funny thing is, is I don't necessarily have anything going. You know, it's just the way us, our smell. <laughs> So first, you know, here I just want to cover quickly. My favorite deodorant is the one in the blue. It's the Meadow Mist. I've been using that for years. And one thing I do want to say, I'm going to warn you, <laughs> because you might start switching stuff out and you notice you smell really bad. Um, it's not you smelling really bad. It's the stuff that is stored in your body coming out and you may stink. Um, so if that's the case, please talk to the person that brought you to this presentation so that you can handle that. You might need some support for your body to be able to handle that switch over a little bit better. Um, I was using like men's speed stick before I started using natural products. And that switch was like, wow, what is coming out of my body? And just be aware that is your body talking back to you if you smell really athletic, if you know what I'm saying. Um, also, we talked about toothpaste. Um, which are, you know, the, the aroma, uh, sorry, the Dentarome line, and you have a kids, you have a whitening, you have one that's like super powered that, that plus the, or the ultra that's right there. And there's also plus. So there's a easy way to switch that out. Remember toothpaste and deodorant are number one and two in my book to help switch over. Um, the laundry detergent is, you know, oh my gosh, when did we get this? It was 2016. I think it was. I was so excited about getting laundry detergent. You have no idea. <laughs> I, I, you know, this has been out for, you know, a couple of years since 2015. 
But like I said, a little goes a long way. I mean, it's a small bottle that's very concentrated and people use a, like not even a half a cap, half of the recommended and it still works really well. So you've got your fabric softener that you can ditch using the dryer balls and your favorite aroma with that. Um, you can also use your Cool Azul line. Here is the sports gel, but there's also pain cream. There's a Cool Azul oil as well. Um, you can replace and ditch those candles and the air fresheners and diffuse essential oils. Not only do they smell good, they really affect, you know, the brain and the, you know, the mental clarity and your energy levels. And they're going to improve wellness throughout your home. And the, the air fresheners that are plug-ins and stuff like that or whatever, they don't do that. They actually take away your health. And number seven here is your thieves line. Um, your thieves, you know, this is, you see the concentrate bottles. You can use your diffusers. Um, absolutely, like one of those bottles of uh, the thieves cleaner goes a really long, long way. Um, your water, which we already talked about here. Um, your household cleaners, which just talked about the thieves as well. Um, there are so many products that you can use every day. I love the... Um, uh, vegetable cleaner, the fruit and veggie wash, which is there on the right side. You've got your dish soap, your dishwasher soap, your wipes. You know, I, I, I like the little bottle there on the left side. It's kind of in the front, a white bottle. That's for like uh, vegetables, like a one time, you know, versus soaking all your veggies or fruits. I take that with me and I travel because I know when I go to like Panera and they give me an apple, I'm like, what is on this apple? So I just sh sh take care of it. <laughs> So, and, and, you know, the other thing, like I said, is highly economical. Like, what about price? You know, like I said this before, but I'm going to say it again. You know, Young Living is not the cheap company uh, because if you really want to find things that are plant-based and, um, you know, not synthetic, made in a lab, and you want it to be good quality with nothing hidden in there that's not on the label, it's going to be premium. Um, so just to be aware of that, but also it does come out to be, uh, very economical when you sit down and you really look at it. So you can save over 80% of traditional cleaners by using the Thieves Cleaner. You know, one 64 ounce bottle of cleaner makes 192, that's a concentrate, makes 192 bottles of 30 ounce cleaner bottles, which would cost you normally 450 to $500 of common brands that are out there. And then you have your laundry detergent, which I said is super concentrated. It's six times more concentrated than the stuff you buy in the big jug, which is about 45 cents a load. So just to show you, because a lot of people look at, they're like, oh my God, they look at the price. It's like, well, it's, you know, it's not when you look at how concentrated it is. So my favorite way for you to get started um, is with the Thieves Premium Starter Kit. It is, you know, there's also different packages you can use. You know, there's the basic package here. You can have a, other packages, which you may have seen, um, our package B and package C, which have other uh, products involved that the person that brought you here can really help you get uh, started in the right way for you. But this is the core of that to start ditching and switching. And so if you're sharing this, you know, to earn green as well as live green, this is absolutely the place to begin. Um, is with this kit and then possibly more add-ons, you know, to, like I said, our package B and package C, which I'm not going to get into here today because you may have already seen that, um, so that you can start cleaning out house. <laughs> and you can also start with the essential oil starter kit, um, which is another favorite. It also comes with a diffuser, which is not here on this slide. So, you know, if you want to start immediately getting rid of the fragrances in your home, the plugins, you know, all that stuff, then the starter kit would be the way to go. Um, but personally, my favorite is the thieves one because you get two essential oils in there anyways. You get stress away and you get thieves and thieves oil. And then you get all that stuff to just go through your house and get, you know, the counters clean and no pun intended, your toothpaste. You might want to add on a deodorant. Um, a couple other things that you're really working on or talk to the person that brought you here to go into package P B and package C as well, which are things that we've put together to you to really help you for you to help you make, um, you know, if you want to have more than this to get started, that's how I was. I wish someone sat me down and said, this is what you got to do. <laughs> you know, I was like, how do I do this? I just, you know, whoever brought you here is going to help you with that. And then I also want to talk quickly about essential rewards. Um, our program is the first three months you are 10% back. Um, with the 10% back, it, you know, you get in product credits. From month four to month 23, you get 20% back. 
And then after 24 and beyond, you get 25% back. We also have a product uh, or a program called YL Go, which really helps you with the shipping. And the shipping program is outstanding. It's kind of like Amazon Prime. You know, you pay a little bit up front and then you can have these credits for your orders. So especially when you are ditching and switching from your home, you're going to start with a core pack and then you're going to, you know, keep going, make a list of things you want, make a list of things you need. You start with the things you need and do that on your essential rewards program every month, which is a minimum of 50 PV, which is about $50. Um, and then at, with your free points that you have, you can then you get the things you want you know, things that you may, may not be as urgent, you can do that with those points. So it's really definitely a good way to go. Essential rewards, hands down, you've got to get started with your rewards right away. You don't have to, but it's what the, everybody does that's really serious about ditching and switching because it's the best way to get your products, best way to get free stuff, get cheaper shipping and more free stuff. And if you're sharing to earn some green, you definitely need to be on essential rewards because you do not ever want to miss a paycheck or a bonus. So with that, I want to thank you for coming. I really appreciate you taking the time to learn about this and get back to the person that brought you here today and tell them, I want to get started. I want to start ditching and switching so that my home will be clean and safe.